here. No problem. Yo, sorry about that. I use this app to like uh, screen share to my computer for TikTok streaming and for so it keeps fucking up. So I had to reset it. What's going on? What's up? How's everyone's week? I haven't been streaming much lately because I've had stuff going on. Weddings. My mom was in town. I've been on a new 60. What 60 did you get? I saw a picture of it, but I wasn't able to really get on Discord this afternoon. So yeah, let's uh let's let's bust out the board real quick and check it out. I mean Most of all most of y'all know what a Forever 65 looks like, as I have one right here. One off 60 that was commissioned by someone else and I ended up snagging it. What, what, who's the designer, who's the manufacturer, etc., etc. So, yeah, I'm gonna build this bad boy tonight. I don't have the keycaps that I'm gonna use, but I have other keycaps. Uh, I'll swap them over at some other point. User, uh, you just, I just started so. I haven't even began building yet. Hey, Nuckin, thanks for the resub. Appreciate it. So here we go. The white balance isn't really perfect here, but uh, I turn my volume down real quick. Yeah, striker right out of the gate. So here we go. It looks freaking awesome with this color. It's more greenish in, in real life. This LED lighting kind of makes it look more blue. But I gotta take apart this other PCB. And in the meantime, we can look at some uh, goodies I've been sent. So we can check out some new switches, all that kind of stuff. We go TikTok. This is a Cerakoted Titanium Blue Forever 65 we'll be building. So I need to take part in this PCB because I'm going to be using this PCB. We're going to use the carbon fiber plate though. And no more PVT fans keycaps. One thing I got. One thing I got. Uh, Rich, we can decide that a little bit. I got a bunch of switches that I was sent by from some affiliates. Um, we can pick one. So this, can anyone guess what this is? I'm sure somebody can guess what this is. Anybody? It is not a plateless plate. It's for a matrix board. This would be a wild plateless plate though. <laughs> a diaphragm. <laughs> Appreciate the likes on TikTok, y'all. <laughs> All right. So this is for my Matrix 8X V3.0 TKL. It's a spacer for the plate. And it allows me to do like a true top mount. So it'll be carbon fiber on carbon fiber goodness instead of uh, like 
so the Matrix Headex V usually has these little silicone like sleeves you put over it so it eliminates the silicone sleeve so it's just a straight top mount clacky goodness probably do that this week on Thursday rebuild that OG Smokey says hey so I'm running on a, an okay keyboard for a while but want to upgrade it to get a little more suggestions uh, first of all what would your budget be really important so yeah that's a spacer for your matrix 8xv i'm gonna put this over here for now i need to put the feet on that thing still and gaskets and the daughter board so it'll be fun take these off take the bcps out because i got a plethora of switches that we get to choose from. 120. OG Smokey, look into the Neo 65. It's about to go into group buy. It's a quick turnaround. I think some of them are in stock. If you're into a 65%, it's very, you can get it for like 80 bucks. That gives you $40 for some switches and you can save up probably a little for some keycaps. But yeah, I got a bunch of switches from KNC Keys to try out. Boy Cahill, can't, I can't even say his name, Cahill over at KNC Keys. And then I have some, um, I still have some B-Sun switches. It's Khalil, okay. I got, uh, I got Anaya's and then the BCPs, so those would be a choice. We got, Green, the new green jacket linears. We got the new red jacket redux. And we got um, the green jacket tactiles. These things got chonky 3.9 stems. It's almost like you're not even. It's like no actuation. Um, Sporky says, Bob, you going to Keep Life? I am not at this year. Maybe next year. We got some good old pine switches from Lubed, which are hand lubed. And then uh, just the Anias. No problem, OG. Thanks for the first time chat, Ashore. Uh, collection may not be fully up to date, but it'll be probably pretty accurate. I've recently sold my sonnet. Um, let's see. I have Pine on Palm in my Envoy right now, and they're very good, okay. Oh, how are the pine switches? I've been meaning to get them. I haven't really tried them yet. I threw one switch into this forever, which is on Palm. Um, it didn't sound as good as the Zaku's, but I'm partial to Zaku's because I like Zaku's. But um, they sounded good. It's a full Palm switch, so it's very similar to a clack bit. Probably be good on carbon. Hey, I might want to sell cookies and cream soon. They might sit getting dusty soon. Hey, ooh, goddamn ads. Yeah. It's hard out here for a pimp, man. What up, Wong? I think it would be good on CF soundtrack, but I really, really, really like uh, clacky switches. Bean, build my first keyboard soon, any tips? Um, I would take your time, 
do a lot of research on YouTube. There's a lot of informative videos out there. Watch people do it. It's not as hard as you think. How many keyboards do you have? Um, let's see. Recently sold one. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11. I have 11 keyboards right now. This is the special forever. It is supposed to eventually get GMK copper, which is in the mail. But I have PBT copper we can put on it, but I know it's not gonna sound good because I don't like PBT. So we have other GMK sets we can try on it. Young, what's going on, man? Yes, Nuckin, I found another set. For cheaper. Trillion, thanks for the first time chat on Twitch. Yes, they are. These are the Syracuse BCPs I'm taking out of this PCB. Yeah, I specifically let the guy know that I had a bad experience with someone not um, packing their keycaps correctly. So I was, he's like, I'll make sure they're packed good. Yes, I've been checking the uh, track in Young. We do have a uh, Young Fruit was kind enough to send me a Jaguar to build. So um, either... Not Saturday, I gotta work overtime Saturday night. So probably next Tuesday I'll get the, either Sunday or Tuesday I'll get the, the uh, Jaguar built on stream for Young. If you can find what made a B stock, let me know because I couldn't find it. I'll take a look at it. What uh what switches and plate did you send and what PCB is it? Thick thock marshmallows, okay. Is it alu plate? Comes with alu and PC. Alright, just let me know what you prefer. If it's hot swap, we can try both on stream to see what you like better. Solder it with PC, okay. For those on TikTok watching, if you, uh, if you want a better view, you'll get more of a better view on Twitch. Alex OP, thanks for the first time chat. Appreciate it. Uh, how do I like the BCBs? Love them. Um, they're a great switch. Highly recommend um, if you haven't got them yet. Um, and you can use my coupon code for 7% off if you get them at uh, Unikeys. Bokeh Bob. It competes with the single. Is it the red one? Did you get the red one or did you get the purple one? Dual platform streaming. The man knows how to hustle. <laughs> I got more the, TikTok. I have the most followers of all socials. So it's kind of stupid for me not to stream on there. They just don't allow OBS. Oh, you got both. Dang. Okay. Let me ask this again. Uh, did you send me the purple or red? Red one, cool. That means I can put, uh, if you didn't send keycaps, I can put on Evil Dolch. Check it out. Yeah, whale in the chat. Appreciate the likes on TikTok, y'all. If you're not following, go ahead and smash that follow. I 
do everything keyboard related. I haven't tried a Jaguar, so it'd be nice. It's gonna be nice. I think, uh, Young, do you want a top mount or uh, isn't it also a gummy O-ring? Yeah. Um, let's take these switches out. Jag is one of the top tier sounding. I mean, anything from Singa is pretty top tier, right? O-ring, X-ring, or top mount. I have no idea what X-ring is. I'd have to look that up. I'm gonna have to look up the build guide on it and see. Uh... And check it out. I'm sure I can do whatever you want. It's just, I gotta see what the dual mount is. I'm guessing it's what O-ring or X-ring with top mount. Is X-ring like a different type of ring? The man behind tall. Thanks for the follow. Oh no, switch down. Yeah, PC plates dependent on the board Shit. can get really, really, f really flexy and like pop switches out and stuff. Yeah. What you guys getting into this week? Y'all have a good week? Anything crazy going on? Past six months at work, been really slow because I work on an airfield and we've been redoing our runway. But it's about to open back up, so I'm actually gonna be busy at work again. <laughs> Doosty. Keeb Life is this weekend. There's going to be a... Oh, it's a Saturday, right? Keep Life Saturday? Where are you in Florida, Sporky? noise so look for my troubles with lube switches so i will tell you this um they 100 percent took care of me um and it's a it's the actual product the cerakote is is really good um i had i did have to wait like i said fairly long for it but since uh i was originally coded or quoted four weeks uh it was done lube switches done by lube switches i was originally coded four weeks it got to me in nine nine weeks and two days so for my troubles um he refunded me And then he gave me some pine switches. And some unreleased keycaps. Um, these keycaps haven't been released yet. I think within a month or two, they're supposed to be released. These are Swag Keys Graphite. And I will say the quality is actually really good. They're double shot PBT.
I don't know if you guys have tried any of the swag keys. I know they had some like maroon or red ones that came out. No, I just send in the top and bottom case. I didn't send a weight or nothing. So these are the keycaps. The actual, um, it's great quality. Like usually with PVT keycaps with text mods, the kerning is off on the text. However, these are like are really good. So be on the lookout for Swag's key. This double shot PVT. If you like double shot PVT. This set is called Graphite. It's uh, like a dark gray with beige. Um, uh, beige text. And then... it actually probably go good with this board. Probably why I sent it. Yeah, the Forever 65, right? So not only does it come with with text mods, it also came with icon mods to include a bunch of space bars. Like this is a, a top notch kit. And um, Miles, thanks for the follow on Twitch. Uh, beige modifiers. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, um, even though it took a while, it's good quality and customer service ended up being great. So I can't really complain about it at this point. I got it back. Um, yeah, mix MX blacks or browns. Um, both. Every other key, MX black, MX brown, MX black, MX brown. Only way, buddy. Put this off to the side. Let's get some gaskets on and such. Yee, yee, yee. What's going on, bud? I am doing great. How are you doing? You know why I'm doing great? Because I finally got my forever. Let's put some feet on. How are you doing, Yee? Miles, what's up? Thanks for the first time chat. And thanks for the follow again. Um, I actually just went over that. But it was nine weeks, two days. From them getting it to me getting it. But like I said, I was... I uh, was originally quoted, quoted four weeks... So with that information, Chris went ahead, went ahead and refunded me. So I got this Cerakote completed for as much as it cost me to ship to Lubed. I think it was like, I don't know, 18 bucks, less than 18 bucks. And then I got a keycap set and some switches so customer service wise they took care of took care of me the quality is great so if you want a top notch quality board I would say you should probably you could you could trust Sarah's trust lube switches because I know some people lately have been kind of upset with them Yeah, it's like I said, young. If I'm told it's four weeks, then I expect four weeks. Um, 
But the other thing is, is it came back and it looks great. Can't complain. And then they went above and beyond and, and refunded me and gave me some extras. Phil, thanks for the follow on TikTok. Add the vendor, thanks for the likes, appreciate it. Forgot to bring my water in here. Let's put these feet on. I might I think I might because at this point I don't know I'm undecided he the PC one should be here I think it was originally quoted three months so probably another two and a half months two months something like that But I love I love the board so it's one of my favorite boards besides my Austins or W one AT. It is like you can't really beat like for I'd say for 65 that's a top 365 in my opinion and those top three are very argu arguably could be swapped like a Kohaku um, TGR 910 or a forever um, the course is pretty nice too. I put the course up there. I used to like it. I use I use it more than my unicorn now. See, uh, like a unicorn's a great board. I just don't like sixties. I don't think I would. Maybe I might get eventually down the road get a unicorn for the collection and just have it my only sixty. But I'm not a real sixties user. Need to put these uh, these gaskets on. So yeah, um, once we do these gaskets, we'll pick some switches out of the plethora of switches I have, and then I'll build it with PPT copper to see if I like the sound. I doubt I'm gonna like the sound, but I have GMK copper on the way, so that'll eventually go on it. But I have like a s stack of GMK keycaps up here that, you know, I got Arch, which will match it. Uh, Metropolis would actually probably go really good with it. Grand Prix might actually go good with it too. So I'm going to do all the bottom gaskets. Said maybe not, maybe try not to put any of the middle gaskets. Okay. So on this build, I have all the bottom gaskets and then on the top case, the space bar gaskets I have off. 
but I'll do top and bottom. Um, I'll do top and bottom spacebar gaskets. I'll leave them off and see how it sounds and go from there because it's, it's an easy fix. I'd rather have them off than... Got to remind myself where the gaskets go. So yeah, these past couple Saturdays, I've had two weddings to go to. That's why I haven't been streaming. And then this Saturday... I need to work. Um, I picked up an overtime shift because it was offered to me. So I was like, hell yeah, I'll make an extra extra little cash because I'm going to Florida soon on vacation. So I think I'm going to stream Thursday instead of uh, Saturday because Saturday night I'll be working. You, you think I should just do like f just the two f sides? And just leave the middle, even the middle top open. Try, right because if it if it sounds like ass I know what it is yeah it might eh, would it change that uh, it might change the alphas Still gotta take the weight off and install the install the uh, daughter board. when gaskets just slide right in there first try I get really shaky hands I'm like ah. Ah. Excited for what up, Shy? Anyone excited for football to start? Anyone? Anyone? Shawnee, thanks for the like.
get it this weekend. What color did you get, Shy? Michigan gang bringing it to Toronto. All right, switch back to this. We need to Take the weight off and install the door to board. I don't, man, I might have to go out to my gra garage, my garage, um, and grab a file because um, I don't know how many forevers y'all have built, but usually the daughter boards are pretty tight fit unless you file the edges down. So we'll see. How many people in here are going to Keyblade? There's a lot of people going, huh? Nine forever and nine ten? Dang, dude. Is he building them for you? Sweet. Don't need to file it down. Unless a miracle last minute flight shows up, I will have Keep Life ticket to sell. Oh. It's weird because my last one did not come like this. Lydia Bill both shipped to Ori for me to pick up trying to avoid nasty tax. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. Even if you send them out and they come back, you still have to pay taxes on them again. How far is Toronto from Michigan? I thought Toronto was West Coast. No, that's Vancouver, isn't it? Yeah. There's a chance 13%. Jeez Louise. How far is the drive from where he is to, to Toronto? Oh, that's not bad. That's about how far I am. I'm in Indiana, so, but I'm central Indiana. So, I have this forever force broke. I think I'm gonna force break 
this one too. Just to be on the safe side. I don't have the right daughter, daughter board stars. Are you going to Detroit me knock over? Nah. I got so much stuff going on right now. Um, I'm a, a family guy, so it's it's hard for me to find time unless I plan it super far in advance. And I already had stuff planned for for October. Are you going? Maybe I, I gotta. I usually go to like two meets a year. And I already did like the indie one and, and Chicago one. Chicago one was pretty lit. Make sure this works. Always gonna make sure it plugs in. Uh, what are you guys thinking for switches? Going to Canadian meet would be pretty cool. Be kind of far for me though. plethora of switches over here. sounds weird it's probably because of these gaskets i left out the top and bottom usually just the bottom or just the top space bar ones but we'll see we'll see put this off to the side for now actually no no i'm not
the force break. But like I said, this thing's kind of weird to force break, so. We are going to get a clean cut there, throw that away. So for these switches, I usually just put a little piece of tape over them and then I'll poke out the hole with, uh, or for these holes. Does anyone? Yeah, that's usually what I do. But this one, like this one, I'll do this side, this side. But these two, since the screw holes are so far to the corners, I usually just put a like a, a longer piece of tape over the screw hole, and then I'll just poke out the screw hole with something. I guess I could just put it on one side. No, I don't have anything under the weight. I don't think if you're using like a palm or PP plate, it's needed. However, um, I think if the carbon fiber, you're using carbon fiber, it's needed. But I think a lot of board boards need force break. It's easy mod and cleans up the sound. Hey, Eric, thanks for the gifted sub, man. Appreciate it. Thrash CERN. Go to gifted sub. Alexa's building PC Kako. Not gonna lie, PC Forever looks better. <laughs> I forgot he was building that tonight. That's probably what everyone's watching. Um, PC Kohaku is dope though. When is that supposed to go for sale? Did you say? Uh oh. We got the envoy issue. Just kidding. You know what's funny is like, oh, that's off the. So like, the forever is almost just as easy to be honest. No one complains about that though. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go in on it because I don't feel like, I don't know. I might. Uh, should I go? I don't know. We'll see. What, what the hell did this come from?
One, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, two. I guess I cut an extra one and it's just on me. Honestly, if I won, I'd probably keep the PC one and then when my BRG one comes in, I'd just sell it. All right, let's pick some switches. Yeah, I got a BRG one on order. I was lucky enough to win the reroll. When they rerolled it, I was like, hey, no way I'm gonna get that. And I got an email. Okay, well, first of all, I'm not gonna use the tactiles, so we'll, we'll, we'll throw them out of the way. Appreciate it, appreciate it. I'm excited for it to come in. Last update, they did an update today. They said November. Yeet. We got the new red jacket redux. We got the green jacket, new green jacket linears, which the difference from last time is instead of a 13.9 millimeter stab, it's a 13.5, so it's not as a, big as a long pole. It's not like the Unga Bunga where it's hardly you're hardly even pressing the switch. We got lubed pine switches. Bus bus and Anayas. Or the bus and BCPs. I have a bunch of other switches too, but I feel like this selection is more than enough. You guys want a nice little... I know this is a big selection, but let's uh, turn this down a little. Let's turn this down a little. So bus and a nine or bus and BCP. I'm forever calling these bus and switches. Bus and Anaya. Lubed pines. These are the green jackets. Um, they feel good. They have a slight little scratch to them. They are lubed, but they have a nice little, I like kind of that feedback scratch. Um, but out of a board, they seem pretty quiet. Uh, and then these are the red jackets. Eric, can you do like a, actually, I'm just going to ask who, which ones y'all want? I'm, uh, I also have like neons, Gian blacks and oolongs. But yeah, I need, we need some switches. We need to start. On carbon fiber, you feel like oolong, huh? Uh, yeah, the red jackets are an option. I want to kind of keep to these newer switches, Eric. Hmm. 
we want to go to the red jackets the red jacket I'll do a red jacket compared to the the B B7 BCP So this is the red jacket. The B some BCP. Red jacket. B some BCP. Yeah, I got some lubed pines too. Yeah, the RJs are not as like high pitch clacky. The B Sun BCPs are very clacky out of us out. So the red jackets are nylon top and bottom with a palm stem. And guess what? So are the B Sun BCPs, but the B some BCPs have a longer stem, hence why they're a little louder. Alright, Eric, put up a put up a poll. Red jackets, redux, or lubed pines. Yeah, so here we go. Here are the two. I'm going to go uh, red jacket. Pine. Red jacket. Pine. As far as like audibly loudness out of a switch i hear they they're very similar but i think once we put them in a plate they're going to sound different three votes yeah I can do that yep actually All right, this is the pine. This is the red jacket. Hold on. Red jacket. Pine. I think I'm going to go with the red jackets. Red jacket did win the poll, but not many people voted. These are GMK ABS. They're uh, from an Omni type. One's a Moto Light, and I think the other one's 808. Maybe. I don't know. I got them from the NK meetup last year. I'm gonna go with the red the red jackets.
However, it is going to be, I'm going to first mount it with PBD copper because a GMK copper is what's aesthetic, is what's going to eventually go on it. I just want to see what it looks like. And then if it sounds, if I don't like the way it sounds, we'll switch over to GMK keycaps it. I like using a carbon fiber plate. I don't have to worry about using a freaking plate plate fork. So yeah, I definitely need to get, I'm going to start doing long form uh, YouTube videos. I'm going to start off doing switch reviews, see how they do. But uh, the first switch I'm going to put up there is the new, I put up pictures on my Instagram the other day. I think I put some up on maybe TikTok, but the Kale Spring Switch. It's a new custom switch from Kale that is very sound wise. Uh, sounds like a um, NK Cream, but it's super smooth, like silky smooth. I wanna say like tangerine smooth. And it's a box uh, dust proof stem. These switches are gonna look good, look weird with the teal case, huh? Or some reserve force training. What's up, Sco? Thanks for stopping by. What uh, what branch are you in? Everyone watching on TikTok, right there. I love corn. But also, if you want to see a better view, twitch.tv slash bokebop. Tell you what, these switches are going in like butter. Ori, what's up, my man? I got something rare with this one off 60% of hot swap H60. I'm not in the 60% game, so I don't know what that is. Doing good, doing good. How about yourself? You just getting home from work? Valorant. I've never played Valorant. 
I am uh, my game of choice right now is Warzone. When you lube, do you always lube on stream or do you lube off stream too? Boom. Those went in good. Like, you know how some switches that don't click every time they go in? These ones every time, nice and smooth with the click. These are going to be really loud. But the PBT is going to destroy the sound. Wrong set. Okay, Shaq. So I have GMK copper in the mail. So this is eventually gonna get GMK copper. So I wanna just see how it looks. And we'll see how it sounds. If I like the way it sounds, I'll keep it on there. However, yeah, I did find another one really fast. Apparently, uh, apparently I'm really lucky. And I found this one for cheaper too. This one was Um, 300 shipped instead of 350. <laughs> I have several PV PBT sets not set well I have copper I have a Star Wars set that I have on my Lego keyboard and it actually sounds pretty good on that keyboard um, and then my wife's board has PBT fans basin on it and I don't use that board so she just like she said that looks pretty so I got it for her I put it on her board Sai, thanks for the first time chat and the follow. Appreciate it. Is this out of a board right now? For PBT? Sounds pretty good. Always mad at myself for not buying GK Dandy. I think that a lot of these newer sets though. They're going to be easier to find in the long run because there's so many more made. Yeah, so side, this is GMK or this is P PBT copper, but I have GMK. I bought it, found a GMK copper set. It's in the mail. It should be a Friday. I'm just putting it on to see how it looks because the colors are pretty close. Um, and then if I don't like the way it sounds, I'll switch it out for a GMK set because I got a bunch of GMK sets that'll match fine. But surprisingly enough, these actually not in a board sound pretty good right now. I think the carbon fiber and the switches are, are pulling its weight though.
I found mine, Sai, on the uh, Mech Market Discord. Every day, every morning I got to work, I would just do a slash search for GMK Copper and it popped up and the guy said that it was still available. So he said, send me that invoice. I got pictures and shit first, but. It's just the base kit, no no novelties or space bars, but. Does the, G, does the GMK space, does the base kit for GMK come with? No, it doesn't. I was gonna say, does it come with space bars, but. It does not. Have a big super. Do I got a big super in here? the big super this actually seems promising Anyone else give it the eye test when you're trying to figure out which route it's in? Look on it, look down it like I'm aiming down a site. What's up, Pupper? Time has come. The time has come. <laughs> I just this looks off. Why do PPT spacebar sound so bad? Might be because I don't have the... Are we ready to see what it looks like? Oh, 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 oh. I wish I could get this in copper or, bra or darker color.
I may have to put these uh gaskets on. I was not expecting that look. I need to trust the process. Yes. So obviously I've got this, this inspiration from the iron 165 midnight teal. Different shade of blue teal, but What's going on, Chongs? Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the like. I will say the lighting on camera doesn't do the justice. I'll definitely be taking pictures of it. Um, it's a lot more flexy. -y -y. However, I feel like it makes these The numbers in the top alphas may be a little more um, uh, thinner. Let's do a quick sound test, right? And then I'm gonna put those bottom gaskets on. care if you see actual monkey type or not. Keep in mind, this is with PBT keycaps, die sub PBT. Now we ain't gambling no points. Got a uh... damn chong. Thanks for the corn. Appreciate the corns, chong. One hundred and seven of them. Damn. All right. So Forever sixty five with a carbon fiber plate and KNC keys, red jacket Redux switches. We do not have any gaskets in the top or the bottom of the case, both top and bottom side in the middle. I only have gaskets on the outside here. Let me turn this little thing down here. You might hear some, some noises you don't wanna hear. All right, let's do this.
Yep, Jongs. Appreciate the corns, John. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to GMK. Just, I'm just gonna, so I'm gonna, I'm going to, I'm gonna put these gaskets on. I don't think it's gonna change the uh... Chongs. Thanks again very much, man. Appreciate it. Sending pandas. You sending corns. We're gonna swap out uh, the PBT keycaps for um, so I'm going to put all the bottom not yeah I'm going to do um, let me just do the, the top the top ones on the bottom and then we'll go from there because this case is really, real easy to uh, take apart. Damn, four Earth, 22 Pandas. Appreciate it, dude. And then we'll switch out the keycaps to, or do we want to see what it sounds like the same way with PBT, or do you want me to swap it to uh, yum yum, GMK? GMK is yum yum. Yeah, finally my MPC is, Qual's going wild, what's going on? Yeah, I know. I want to hear. Everyone wants to hear GMK. GMK is just better. I a thousand percent agree. I personally just wanted to see what this would look like with copper on it. So I'll keep the top empty. Yum yum GMK or is it? What is it? Hold on. Let me get my NPC. Yum yum, GMK good, yum yum. Yum yum clack, GMK clack, yum yum. Yeah, it looks good and I'll be happy once uh, I actually get GMK copper in. NPC so cringe. It is. It is. It's surprising how much money these people make doing it, though. Thanks, Chunk. Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate all the love. It's crazy. Like, that one girl went from, like... <laughs> Nothing to a billionaire overnight. Just for looking good and acting like an NPC while looking good. Yum, yum. All right. I'm going to keep these over here. Let's make it quick. All right, for GMK keycaps, we got GM GMK Arc, or Arch, however you want to say it. We got Metro uh, Metropolis, or uh, Wab Katakana.
Yeah, Monokai material, Oblivion would look good on it. Um, I was honestly thinking about, I want to stick to GMK, but like the Mode Tomorrow keycaps would probably look really good on it. However, you know what? What? Well, I'm going to keep copper on it a really long time, but I bought two base kits of Mictalon, both the dark one and the colorful one. That'll probably go good on this too. Probably hear double music right now, huh? Turn that back up. Even, even like, uh, I actually think uh, Arch is probably the blue on the arch modifiers is probably very close to this. I'll get Grand Prix too. Yes, I'm very happy with how the finish came out, Nuts and Cider. It looks a lot better in person in on camera because of the LED lights, it, it looks more blue saturated, but in person, it's more of a teal green. Um, really hard to tell on with this lighting. But when I take photos of it and post them on my Instagram, it'll be color corrected and, and all that jazz, so. Get a brother look at it then. I need to eventually get a better lighting setup here, but that's really not on the radar. Lighting's expensive. If anyone's interested, copper, 50 shipped in bags. go with Metropolis or Arch. Metro. Chad has spoken. 
ob ob i can't say your name obi ibo thanks for the first time chat You know what's funny is Metropolis. This was the set. Everyone has that set, right? And everyone has that key set. This was the keycap set that sent me down spiraling so fast. The rabbit hole. Found it somewhere on like... Uh... I found like a knockoff set somewhere. I forget where it was. It wasn't Amazon. It was, um, oh, it's OB forward and backwards. Uh, yes, it was my gateway drug. Actually, I get, I get the good stuff in here. No, I'm gonna keep that on there. Um, this is gonna sound way better, GMK. Um, where did I buy it? AliExpress. I think I got it off AliExpress for like twenty, thirty dollars, and I got it from like my Keychron K1 or something. You know, my sixty dollar keyboard. Where you at? Where you at? There you go. I have a artisan to match this. I do not. I'll worry about that last. Obi, thanks for the follow. Trying to think what set that was for me, but it's tough. I mean, every I got at least I think everyone's got a keycap set they first saw when they first got into the hobby, and they were like, "I need to have that set." What's that set for you, Nuggin? Palm jelly caps made me look into customs. Palm jelly caps are very, very aesthetically pleasing. Little HJ or little HJ test. Where's my, where's my shift? 
There's the shift. I could use that shift. But I want to use the normal shift. Oh, it's right here. I haven't picked it up yet. Violac, not GMK. Um, honestly, Kikobo is, I would say, probably the closest to GMK sound wise you can get. And quality wise, it's really good. Okay, we are going to put. I'm going to put the normal arrows because I'm going to put um, artisans over here. If I have to swap out the copper accent and wait for my envoy to the multicolor, it would probably look really good. Um, it probably looked good with copper too. Copper really goes with anything. Welcome back. We almost done with this this GMK slapper. Hit it with a super. I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. Do we want the yellow? Do we want the yellow icon escape and just the normal tab or keep this tab? And just do the normal escape. I can put this here. Let's just go with that for now. This keycap set can be used so many ways. Froggy, thanks for the share. Appreciate it. El Quan, what's going on? Try this. Let's try this. Come on, you bastard. The one reason I despise the forever is this damn JST connector.
So we've already built it with PBT keycaps. And of course, it sounded like ass. No, I'm just kidding. It sounded decent, but PBT, you know. So until I wait for copper to show up, I'll hit it with a little GMK in Metropolis. And the switches we decided to pick were the new KNC Keys Reduc uh, Red Jacket Redux. You try CRP, of course, that assumes you are down with going beige or bow. I'm not really a beige person. I already have bow. I mean, I don't really have a beige set, so. Who usually run, drop run CRP, right? Sweater weather. It's always sweater weather. And the reveal. It actually looks pretty good with uh, Metropolis. I mean, I got too much going on right here, but I could change that. Patty Pinkle, thanks for the follow. How many pickles does Patty Pinkle pick? Pinkle Patty Pinkle. Did I say that right? I don't think I said that right. We doing another sound sound test time? I need water. You guys want to do uh, uh if you picked a pack of peppered Patty Pickles. Patty Pinkles. Carbon Fiber GMK. Palm GMK. We've gotten to the point where now all I care of is to keep is my Matrix AXV and CW88. Who wants a, a freshly Cerakoted Thera and a PC album? I'm going to rebuild uh, Nuts Insider. I'm going to rebuild my 8XV next uh, on Thursday. I got this fancy, it's a 3.0, not a 2.0, but I get this baser so I can do true top mount. All right. Let's mute the volume. Bring it in a little close. See how she sounds. All right, this is a Forever 65 carbon fiber plate with Cansey Keys Red Jacket Redux switches and GMK Metropolis on a carbon fiber plate. I already said that. Space bar. What's going on, Mia? 
Thanks for the first time chat. That's 65%. Uh, I think I need to put these bottom gaskets in, in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see. Best 65%. So in our glorious hobby of keyboards, it's dominated by preference. I think there are three to four 65% that are quote unquote the best 65%. Um, I think for cost, if you're looking for a budget board, your best 65% is gonna be an Envoy. Um, now, if you can spend the world, um, if you can do like Aladdin and show Jasmine the world, um, I would say Kohaku, Forever 65, Corsa, um, or a TGR 910. <laughs> Show her the world. Aladdin, come on. I can show you the world. I only know this song because I list, I watched it today with my kids. We'll put the Kohaku in there too, Shy, for uh, 65s. Moana slaps. Um, personal favorite for newer Disney movies would be Encanto. Uh, I th I think it's up there. I think it's overpriced, but it's up there for the 910. I do like the suave blue. I think the suave blue is, is an, a very nice color. Okay, so I'm gonna put these top ones on because I don't think it really made a difference for the top of the case but and I'm gonna put the bottom ones on I'm gonna leave bottom tops bottom top if that makes sense so I have my other one built and it sounds good so if it ain't broke don't fix it Yeah, Josh too. Thanks for the uh, follow. If you're watching on TikTok, you haven't followed yet. Smash that follow button for me. Appreciate it. I've never tried a Space 65, so I can't comment on that. It looks good. It's a good looking board, but. Like the best 65 I've owned is the Forever 65. I've tried a Kohaku, the Kohaku. I haven't owned a Kaku, but I've tried it. Great. Um, Corsa, I tried, great, haven't owned one. I like Matrix boards though. Um, I am a Matrix and Drift Mechanics simp.
Eric, I thought you were in the, I thought you were forties, man. I saw that. What colors did they come out with, Shy? I saw those new ones. I didn't really catch them. Scroll past it real quick. I was busy. I thought the gold arc for 60 was pretty cool. Peacock green, which is a dark pinish green. Come on. What the heck? There we go. Ivory. Ivory such a, it's a good color, but it, like the name Ivory, like that's something I'd name a daughter if I had another daughter. Papa, don't let him lie to you. He had like a hundred forties. Why does the key sound so different from the others? What do you mean, Cody Waller? What key? Kudo, thanks for the follow. For some reason, I have glitter on my desk, and I have no idea why. side profile though like look at this thing look at the side profile of this board no the glitter does not come off the vior oh okay i'm gonna do something real quick i don't think the um, red jacket is the move on the space bar so we going we going we gonna switch it up Several switches we're gonna try in a space our bar. It looks like someone rubbed dandruff in their hair over Keyset. Um in person it doesn't. Maybe on pictures, but we're gonna put a true BP BCP in here.
That's a contender. That's a contender. Neon, neon, neon carbon fiber, anyone? I think that might be it. Neon on space bars, like, don't miss. What do you mean by nasty? Like you had to clean it? Oh, Gian Black sound good too. I'm gonna let y'all decide. Go back down this. Let's, let's get down nice and close. Turn down the volume. Turn down the noise removal. Alright, so this is the Gian Black. Keep that in your mind. Now this is the neon. What up, Lawrence? Thanks for the first time chat. Should I think Neon or Gian Black? Oh, no apologies, man. People, people have lives and got stuff going on. Gian Black be sounding crispy. Do it again. Oh, man. Killing me, Smalls. All right, one more time. This is the neon. Neon, neon. And of course, the GM Black. I don't hear any pops now. Which isn't binding. I don't know. I think it's just the difference in top out sound. I don't understand. I don't get it. 
Well, if I do it softly, it's not tapping out. I will say the, the neon doesn't seem as harsh. Yeah, I feel like the neon sounds cleaner too. The the black had a what is the big escape key? Is it a lamp? Is it a oh shit button? You'll never know. No, it's a lamp. Um, sneak box. They offer more than, um, escape. They have like the F key and a bunch of others. Yeah, it's touch sensitive and you have two options on the back. So you have color or warm. Warm is just white, different brightnesses of white. And then on the bottom, you can have it just on forever on for 15 seconds or on for 30 seconds and it is USB-C chargeable no batteries um they do not have an iso enter but they do have a really cool macro pad coming out with for you to be able to use your iso enters So yeah, this is going to be the final sound test. Or we'll do a, uh, we'll do shy. It's like 18 bucks. I think that's what I bought it for at the, um, and our, um, Chicago meet. Holy shit, dude. What did that guy do to that, that 60%? Got a bunch of shavings all over it. $23 on Seek stuff. Yeah. No, it was 18 bucks at the meet, so $23 probably a little upcharge. He made it snow. Yeah, it looked like he did a couple lines before he sent it to you and left a little residue. All right, we'll do one, two, uh, two last sound tests. It's going to be the Forever 65 carbon plate and um, Cansey Keys Red Jacket Redux with uh, the bottom white forever is Palm Plate with Zaku's. Zaku's.
that. Sounds great. I don't do glizzies. Sorry, no glizzies here. I need this guy to come in a hundred dollars and I'm in. Let me check this out. Oh, is that so sneak box is doing something similar to that, but it has more keys. So it's like the ISO enter plus like two or three, maybe four more, um, one U keys. But yeah, it's a good way to use your ISO enters, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I actually might rebuild this with, with uh, when I get copper, I might rebuild it with a PP plate. For some reason, the palm with long poles sounds so good. PP palm, on it sounds so good. Been there forever. Yeah. Um, I'm going to stream again on Thursday. Since I'm not getting, um, since I won't be streaming Saturday because I got to work, um, I'm going to stream on Thursday. Maybe copper will show up by then. Who knows? Sometimes UPS is quicker. But if not, we're going to rebuild the ADX V3.0. Probably try out some more of the new switches. Um, yeah, we'll go from there. I got a uh, Singa Jaguar coming in too that I'm going to build for someone probably Sunday. It might get, get me three times this week. Sunday or Tuesday. I don't know. I might go Tuesday. But um, yeah, thanks for stopping by. That was a good time tonight. Um, let's let's look around and see what we can raid. What do we got going on? What do we got going on? Thank you for stopping by, Shay. Let's uh, let's see who's. Let's say let's all say bye to Twitch. Bye Twitch. Thanks for stopping by Twitch. Follow me if you haven't. I do all keyboard Thanks stuff. I hope you like Twitch. my keyboards. Bye Twitch. Bye. Thanks for stopping by Twitch. Jackie with the with the what if? All right. So, um, Zin Zin's on WoW, so y'all probably don't want to watch WoW. Atsley is prepping for Keep Life. Is Atsley Jackie? Atsley? Is Atsley Jackie? Oh, she's wrapping up. Okay. Um, Alex. She's trying to raid someone right now. Okay, okay. Tell her not to raid me. Let's get the raid. Again, thanks y'all for stopping by. Um, we'll be back Thursday night with some more yum yums. Y'all have a good night. Thanks again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till this commercial's over to Raider because I'm not sub to her. We have a one more Papa John's commercial. Ooh, that looks good with a little garlic dipping sauce. You two lubed. Y'all have a good night.
it, Bob. Hello, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Uh, we are having te technical difficulties right now with this board. We are almost two, a little under two hours in. And we're 